Okay, uh, welcome back to another Stat 432 video. This one's gonna be short, but uh, in my opinion, rather important. So along the way this semester, in addition to learning machine learning, um, hopefully you'll pick up a bunch of tips and tricks for using both R and R Studio, or, or generally just um, tips about being a, a better programmer in general. Um, we're gonna start with my favorite, the easiest, and one of the, in my opinion, uh, most useful tr tick, uh, tricks for using, I guess in this case, R Studio technically. This, I don't think this would work with R. Okay, so that is to say, you should use the tab key. Oh, I should open up my keyboard viewer. Okay. What I'm saying is, press this all the time. I mean, right now it's inserting a bunch of space, which is super unhelpful, but it's more powerful than that. So let's say, I don't know, you, uh, you wanted to calculate a normal probability with uh, the, uh, using the normal uh, CDF. So I'm gonna now attempt to do that, typing as little as possible. Uh, so I don't want to look up how to do it. I just want to kind of guess and figure it out. So probability. So P stands for probability. Let's type that. And then let's start typing normal at the N O. Oh, well that was good too. And then I hit tab. Hey, look at that. It auto completes it. Wonderful. Um, and now right away, it creates this tool tip where it shows me uh, the arguments and their defaults, which is great. Um, but these tool tips can be a little touchy, like they come and go and they're, they're sometimes not too dependable. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hit tab a bunch. Ooh, look at that. Um, Q, so Q, like that's the, I want the probability less than some value, let's say, I don't know, five. And then I hit comma, space, hit tab again, and oh, there's the next argument I need to input. Let's say this normal distribution has a mean of three, and then I hit comma, space, hit that magic tab key again. Oh, let's give it a standard deviation of, I don't know, two. Um, and then instead of less than, let's do greater than, so uh, comma, space, tab, let's set the lower tail to be false, so it does the upper tail. It's not important that you know what's going on from the probability perspective right now, but it's just this idea of hitting tab, and then we hit enter. There you go. Perfect. Um, so I, I guess my, 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 my overarching thesis here is that you should always have a finger on the tab key and you should be hitting it almost constantly. Um, uh, I, I think it'll it'll help break out the habit of inst I, I think there's this there's this activation energy to writing code. So I think a lot of times in a course like this, the the mode of operation is, well, go to the notes, find similar code, copy paste it, and then edit it. Unfortunately, that's a bad way to learn. Um, you know, in practice, there are plenty of great uses of copying and pasting. Um, and being able to copy and paste quickly is very important. And we'll come back to keyboard shortcuts in general later. If you don't know the keyboard shortcuts for copying and paste, I would look those up right now, but more on that later in a different video altogether. Um, but, but I think, um, to, to better sort of, um, understand what's going on with code, it helps to write the code yourself instead of just trying to m do minor modifications of someone else's code. And I think a tool that will help you write more code instead of relying on that copy pasting is hitting, hitting the tab button. Um, you know, let's say I want to do the median. Okay. We'll hit tab at auto completes. What are the arguments? Well, give it a, give it a, a X, which is, I think is like a data set. Do something like that. There you go. Um, autocomplete. It's great, but, but the autocomplete itself is not the super, uh, important thing. Uh, I should have thought of a good function example. I mean, let's just do another probability one. So like, let's say we wanted to, um, I don't know, randomly generate exponential random variables, right? So R for random, uh, and then exponential EX. Oh, okay. Auto complete that. 
Uh, okay, so I need to supply an N for how many. Uh, and then I also need to give it the rate, the, the parameter of the distribution. There we go. Um, so yeah, um, you'll find in these screencast videos uh, that I make, um, sometimes I'll try to keep this keyboard thing up so you can sort of get a sense of what I'm doing. But, uh, you know, nine times out of 10, I won't write an entire function name. I'll hit tab to autocomplete it. Uh, nine times, no, not nine times out of 10, like 99 times out of 100, I don't remember all the arguments to a function. Tab will give them to me. Uh, so yeah, uh, in summary, if you learn one thing this semester about using R in our studio, it's that the tab key is the most powerful key on the keyboard for programming, and you should use it all the time. Okay, uh, I'm really hoping everyone made it to the end of this video because it's probably gonna be one of the shortest of the semester. And if you did, good job, and I will see you in the next video.